to my channel, lovelies. Y'all already know who it is. It's your girl Bambi, but you know I go by Sierra. So that's my government. Don't call it out. Anyways, as you guys can see by the title, this is just a maintenance vlog, and I'm just taking you guys along with me. So it's gonna be really, really fun. And I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications on because we're back to back with them bankers, of course. Period. Right now, I'm getting my eyebrows and my lashes done. Um, my mom's birthday is on April 11th, and it's like April 8th right now. So I got like three days to get it together. You know what I'm saying? Period. And I'm going to be getting everything done. Don't mind my hair. It's giving slave energy right now. But I'm at the nail salon. I'm getting my lashes done because, you know, a broke bitch cannot pay for fucking minks right now. Probably my next paycheck I'm going to get minks. But until then, lash your girl up, period. So, yep, you guys are just going to be coming with me. And it's going to be great. Real good. Y'all see this guy. And this is what I'm wearing. I'm going to show you guys. Can't have on nothing too simple, but nothing too extravagant for the nail salon, of course. You know, got the little slides on the army fatigue joggers, the weird Bradley, the hoodie and my crystals, my bracelets on jewelry, of course. We outside doing ghetto people antics because, you know, we got a little bit of time to wait. So we're going to smoke. Okay. Period. Right, babe? Just about to smoke that. Stop. It's a new one. What they said? I'm oh, not gonna stress smoke, bitch. I'll hit get a new one. But y'all cannot wait to get my fucking eyebrows done. Like, I just don't even look like myself. I mean, I do. But it's like, it's different. You know what I mean. Everybody knows what I mean. The girls that get it, get it. Like, if I was going to be getting a frontal right now, I think I would be looking really exotic. But I'm just getting a little bob. <laughs> yeah, so I can't wait. Look how pretty it is on here. And quiet. That's how you know it's fucking spring. Okay. As y'all can see, your girl is done. Don't act. until it's closer to my appointment. My appointment is tomorrow at three. It's tomorrow at three. And I'm super indecisive about when I want to, what like I really want to get because I want to get like the Aaliyah, you know, the 90 style trim in the middle, boom, 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 straight down. Like, you know, your face contour and stuff like that. Or I want to get a bob. So it's like, I haven't got a bob in a minute. You know, the bobs is always giving. might just turn around and get that but you never know um i'm just sitting here chilling i'm about to stay here and smoke my blunt my boyfriend at work i'm about to stay here and smoke watch my movie while you guys are watching me <laughs> super awkward but you know you guys don't have to watch me you know while i'm watching the movie that's kind of But it's okay. I love you guys, so hopefully you guys love me too. You know what I'm saying? Getting to the freaking eyebrows. I know when we were outside, they looked a little bit more dark, but I 
that's not even what they're really giving for real, for real. That's not even what they're really giving. Period. Like, like. But let me spark this blunt up. All I'm saying here, just chat. And then I get my nails done on my mom's birthday. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love the nails. I either wanna get cherry red for the girls, cherry red for the girls, or pink, like. But I think I wanna get cherry red, like, mm, or it's, it's giving indecisive energy stuff. Like, mm mm. But I know. Gonna be figured out by the time the 11th even comes around like you know what i mean like i doubt it's gonna be figured out for real we gonna act like it's gonna be figured out and then a lot of people was going to this party some of my friends were going to this party and they're um underage because so am i you know under 21 years old and then a dude gonna post a flyer today talking about some oh, 21 and older like ah y'all thought ah y'all thought wrong ah but I mean like if they still go if they're still welcome fuck it we bought you know what I mean but I'm not going I'm not going I was gonna go but I'm not going to a bunch of them just not my eye should I watch because like guys what movie like recommend me some Netflix movies because not only do I watch everything on Netflix I also do the opposite I don't watch everything like not really everything that looks like it's not good like you know the, the little pictures and everything like mm, if it's not given what it's supposed to I'm not gonna watch it like and if the briefing isn't really giving me suspense and it's just vague I'm not going to watch it like I like romance I like comedy, I like thriller I like everything, crime, drama everything, you know what I'm saying I'm a fan favorite of all so that's what I'm like how could I never find anything but I'm about to watch the ultimate Cause it looked like it's given, and you know Netflix always recommending something that they know I'm gonna watch for us. Right? Because let's really keep it a stack. If I'm really keeping it a stack, <coughs> I'm waiting on selling sunset. Okay, mark my words. April 22nd, I'm coming for you. Selling sunset, I'm coming for you. April 22nd, I'm gonna be at your door on Netflix. Like, come on. Netflix and chill with me. Let's go. Oh, I got my popcorn. I'm ready. What's going on? I'm not even joking. My name. Oh, this is this one. And the other one, like, come on, give us another season. So give us another season. Oh. Speaking of unspoken accomplishments, I have this little situation coming up. So, be on the lookout for fucking May. Be on the lookout, okay? May is some real good things happening, okay? Period. And it's going to be really fun, and I hope you guys enjoy the concert because we're going to be dropping for real. 
not just maintenance vlogs or anything like that like things that really consist of my personality and how you guys can see how i act and stuff like that like come on you gotta grasp the girl you gotta grasp the girl because it's it's a lot with me okay and you're not gonna grasp me within one day or within one video i am not a, i am not a one video grasp type of girl like you're not gonna know me off of one video <laughs> subscribe you gotta get to know this one. like we're a family you know what i mean we're we're in this together because if, if it's not you it's me if it's not me it's you type thing but i already know you guys aren't gonna recommend me anything to watch because i'm already gonna pick something as i just told y'all gonna pick the ultimatum and i hope it's good if you guys watched it let me know if you guys are watching it let me know oh also let me know if bridgerton is good as well because one of my friends just told me about it and it's giving me a little crawl like i want to jump to that side but i watched one episode and i didn't fully watch it i'm not gonna lie i only watched about five minutes of it and it wasn't given for me it wasn't given for me so my decision after that i just chose not to watch it but it's number two so it's given like okay so you're trending for real for real or are you just trending you know what i mean like is it universal or like like is it a everybody everybody would like it type of show or is it like you know like just trending just a trend right now like okay we're gonna see what that shit is about which is not right now right now we're gonna do the ultimatum that's all period because the ultimatum with you guys is you subscribe or you just don't watch me period don't watch me don't but y'all i can't wait to get my hair done i can't wait to get my nails done <clears throat> y'all already know i'm getting my nails done by stop playing stop playing slay by who mm. oh and I'm hoping that I can learn how to transition into better edits. Like, I'm really grasping how I like to edit my YouTube videos and how I like my YouTube videos to look and sound and give off. Like, I'm a hyper-energetic type of girl, period. I want you guys to feel all the good vibes and feel like when you're watching me, you're on 10 with me. Like, level up with me. Like, even laying down, girl, we're up. Like, stop playing. We're laying down up, period. Get, like, mm. The girls that get it, get it, okay? And I may have ADHD, I may not, but at the end of the day, I'm happy. Be happy for me. And if you're not, bye. That's only what I allow over here, because I'm happy for you. I love my fucking subscribers. Okay? I always look forward to recording something or just picking up, you know, picking up to record, but sometimes i never even know what to do sometimes like half the time i'm boring and the other half i just act like sometimes it's like i act like that person like why do you act like that do you see why people no don't want to be around you like what how do i act you know like but the vibes is for everyone it's good vibes everyone loves me you know what i'm saying but the people who adore me say that to me the most because they love me you know and they put up with the worst shit that I get. Sassy. So yeah. The baddest Virgo. You already know. Me and Beyonce was born on the same day and whatnot. But B, don't get it, don't get it twisted. I know the B come before the C, but you know my name, Bambi. Bambi Sierra Leach. That's the name. That's the name. That's my name. What's this? What's this? That's me. Yep. Yep, queen. Yep. Mm -hmm. I love you. Beyonce, if you ever see this, I love you. Every since I came about your song, girl. In love, girl. In love. Cannot. 
you took me. Then the fact that I found out you were born on September 4th, girl, stop playing. Like, who you know? <laughs> like, if you were born in September, you know you're one of them. You know what I'm saying? You know you're one of them. But not one of them to be played with, okay? Like, what? But I'm gonna actually um, close this clip out and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm already done blow drying my hair out and everything will just be free given real Jamaican energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be getting my hair done and all that goodness. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Y'all better be subscribed. Y'all better be subscribed, like. Hold up, because if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? And if you really thought I was digging my nose, look at my piercings and ask yourself, why are you in my business? Let me give y'all the background of this little story or situation that just happened. And it didn't piss me off. It's kind of like, I kind of see where I'm maturing at because now I see how I'm 19 and people of younger ages, how they really act for real because it's really kind of dumb. So, boom. You know, I'm doing my little situation. I'm catching the bus to go get my hair done because I'm being cute on a budget this time and whatever. Boom. I get downtown and my boyfriend ends up telling me it's somewhere that it's not supposed to be so i check again and then it's somewhere else boom the bus leaves so i'm aggravated now because i'm like okay so that's the bus i was supposed to be on if i would have caught that bus i would have been on time you know what i'm saying and i'm like okay so let me see what time the next bus comes the next bus comes at 3 15. so i'm like okay the next bus come at 3 15. well let me see if she has a policy that says um if you have like a 15 minute 20 after 15 minutes or something after 10 minutes you know what i'm saying like some people got policies about that some people don't really care if you're already you know like a customer for them so boom i check i see her policy it says like after 15 minutes appointment is canceled and deposit is not refundable i don't care i do not care about the deposit i care about my hair like you know what i'm saying so i'm like okay so let's see what's gonna happen so i end up texting her literally way before my appointment even started which was at 2 49 and my appointment was at 3 right so i text her i'm like oh hey i just missed my bus and then i give her like the backstory of how i was going to be late the next bus didn't come till 3 15 like if she wanted to bear with me i was literally going to get there at 3 24 like that's 24 minutes that's only 24 minutes late that's like what flat ironing you know what i'm saying but i i would have gave her like a tip or something you know what i'm saying like i'm not somebody that's just about to be late for their first time ever coming to you and not gonna tip you or anything so she's like okay so she texts back like 10 minutes after that i'm trying to see if she even gonna take me you know what i'm saying she she texts her really slow and you know i don't really know that many shit i don't know that many people that text their customers slow like or, or at least most people that do hair or do anything they text back pretty fast because they have you know assistance that text for them so boom she's like okay well she's like, okay yeah i'll get my nails done so i'm gonna reschedule you i could reschedule you and i could take you in the a.m she said okay yeah i get my nails done after so i could take you in the a.m I read the message like, okay, she get her nails done after so she can take me in the AM. So she's about to get her nails done instead of, so, you know what I'm saying? Because a bob is fast to me. A bob is quick. So I sat back, I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, so me being 24 minutes late is really putting her in that hassle where, you know what I'm saying? She's going to be around this time because it looked like it was gonna be done around this time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, she can take me in the end. That's perfectly fine. I 
text her. I'm like, okay, let me know. Let me know what time you'll be able to take me. Because that's fine. That's good. Time go by. I'm like, okay, let me know. Let me know when you'll be able to take me. I say it again. Like, and then I'm like, all right. I said it a few times. I said it like three times. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm somebody who... I'm not overly aggressive, but it's like I'm trying to get my point across, so I'm not coming off rude or I'm not coming off soft. I'm coming off strong. Like I need, I need this to happen. I want you to know, like I'm involved in this situation. Like I know what happened. You know, I accounted for it, but I gave her the ultimatum on if she wanted to take me or not because I was gonna be late, but. I kid you not, nine times out of ten, everybody knows. Most of the time, if they're 15 minutes late, if they're not that late, after the 15 minutes, they're still gonna come. Most of the time, people lie, like, oh, I'm right down the street. Like, everybody in the back of my ear is just like, oh, why you just didn't go? Why you just didn't go? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, because this was my first time, and I just, I don't know. I was just pissed off in the moment, so I wanted to make sure if she was gonna let me come, I can come. Because I wasn't just gonna hop on the bus and then get there. I don't know why I had that feeling in the back of my head because it seemed like that's the type of person she is. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless, like, if it's 15 minutes and she don't have anybody after you, like, you just going to get her now done, she's not going to take you. You know what I'm saying? If you're 15 minutes late or not, you know? Like, regardless, she's not going to be lenient, you know? So I was just, I felt, I, like, something told me, like, something really told me, like, I don't know. So then I'm just like waiting on her, um, waiting on a response, waiting on a response. I don't get one. I get home, I still don't have one. I'm like, okay, well, I'm about to get into work. When is she going to be able to text me? Like, is she going to text me at like 12 o'clock at night? Like, when everybody is asleep? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because this, this was my time to do my hair. This was the time for you to be doing my hair. So I, what, what else could you be doing? You know, unless you had things backed up that you were trying to do instead of doing my hair like okay so if she don't come then I'm back east you know what I'm saying like I don't know that's why I don't really go to meet people because I don't always know what their intention is like I sometimes I could I could read them through messages like you know what I'm saying like sometimes I have like sometimes I even let people freestyle on my hair like oh should I get this should I get this like oh like you let me know if this is cute or if that's cute people will really let me know like people like the good people kind-hearted pure-hearted people will really sit there and let you know stuff like that and other people know so i should have really like recognized and accounted for the type of person she was because people already came to me saying like oh you know and i just didn't really hear them out because i wanted to see it for myself because i don't judge people based off what other people say about them and other shit like that i judge people based off how i feel about them you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. That was like that little situation. I know I'm able to get my hair done the day of my mom's birthday, though. Um, that's what I do know because I booked an appointment. I literally booked an appointment downtown as when I texted her because I even told my boyfriend, I'm like, I doubt she's going to even take me. Watch. Because I'm texting her. She's not responding. She's slow responding. You know what I'm saying? And even people... When I reschedule for my lashes or for my minks with Charlie, you know what I'm saying? She be right on it. Regardless if she listening to music, you know, doing someone else's lashes, she take less than 10 minutes to take to take me back. You know what I mean? Less than 10. Because people know, like, customers kind of get impatient, especially if it's someone looking to come in and do something with within, like, the next three days, you know what I'm saying? Within the next two days or anything like that. I'm not mad or anything, it's just like, damn, like, I wish, I wish people's intentions was just as good as mine, like, I wish people, you know, would do, do, do break their back for people, like, I break my back for people, like, she's like, oh, she, she was doing this, she was doing a lot, let me, let me go ahead, 24 minutes ain't that much, let me go ahead, Charlie, like, come on, girl, you fine, like, this is your first appointment ever booking with me, you're totally fine, and I, you would, what, you would have said, someone on my first appointment, I love to tip someone when I love getting my nails, my hair, anything. Like, when you're showing me that you, you're in it for real, for real, I'll, I'll mess with you. Like, I don't know. But I'm still gonna get my hair done. I didn't change anything. I was just upset in the moment, upset in the setting. But it didn't change, like, she 
she still does hair perfectly fine. Like, I love the way she do hair. Um, I just, I don't know if I would see myself further booking with her. I mean, I can if it was going to be like a slick back ponytail or anything like that. But I don't know. Like, I can't, I don't know how to communicate with people that's not, that don't know how to be lenient or not, like, judge people for shit. Like, I don't know. She just, I don't know. She, it just a lot happened behind it, and it was really annoying to me. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you and you thought you ate that because I said this. Like, um, I'm pretty sure everybody wakes up in the morning when they say, oh, when they say somebody was being rude, oh, when they say they can't get anything done. Everybody get a bad attitude. Who doesn't? Especially someone that's naturally spoiled. If you tend to take everything personally, then that's something that you have to work on. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I still gotta get my nails done on the 11th, and I get my hair done on the 11th, and I just can't wait. If I don't end up getting my hair done on the 11th, I do have somebody in my head right now that I'm messaging that's probably gonna squeeze me in but if she doesn't squeeze me in anywhere then i'm already gonna book with your girl ayana because yeah she's definitely my go-to hairstylist like i don't know why i didn't book with her before but i didn't want like braids or anything i wanted something really 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 like she know what i mean she know she know <clears throat> and i think i'm still gonna be able to get that because she gives that all the time period so i will see you guys um, not today, because I go to work, but after a few days on the 11th, it's like the 9th right now, so I'll see you guys on the 11th. Hey, losers, so I'm dressed, <laughs> ready for fucking work, my big crusty ass. Ready to go get that bag, of course, you know, can't wait for my, I guess, reschedule here appointment on the 11th. I look more like a baddie than I am now, period. I just can't wait. Mm, Y'all already know where I'm at. Y'all see her new room? Like, I'm loving it. And she just started. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the lip I don't even got nothing on me right now. So I'm going to put this shit on right when I'm done. Like, yep, that's the look. That's the look. I can't wait. It's going to be a nice little Babiana. I think I should get it, like, right there on my chin. Yeah. Like, the longer it is, the harder it is for me yeah. to maintain. Just getting my hair. Um, Me and my boo decided that we're going to do a little freestyle. We're going to do a little <laughs> color and... I'm not gonna tell you guys, I'd rather show you guys, and I can't wait to show you. My girl's room is so cute. Um, I got work today, it's my mom's birthday. I'm really happy right now, but I'm making, I'm trying to make all the hours count, all the minutes. So let me hurry up, get there, and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm almost done with my hair. Because right now, <laughs> why would I be on camera? <laughs> Do you see how I look? It's giving egghead. But everybody knows I has an egghead. But I can't help it. Let me have Y'all see the girl. Y'all see the girl. Yeah. Yeah. It's giving exactly what it's supposed to be gay. Cause you know, <laughs> you know she not about to play around. Why? Cause she don't play around on nobody's hair she ever touched, period. And that's gonna always be mine, always, always. But yeah, my um, nail appointment is in five minutes. I already know I'm gonna be late cause I gotta change into some pants. And yeah, like, that's just what I have to do. Like, that's just what I have to do. I gotta do what I gotta do. Hold on y'all. Let's talk about her gift bag. Let's. When I get a chance, we gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about this because I love to get a gift. Like, y'all love us. Like, 
when y'all do our hair, when y'all do our lashes, when y'all do our nails, anything, and y'all giving us gifts, y'all love us type shit, like, and I respect that. I love y'all more, like, but I need to get dressed. I gotta hurry up, because I got work today. Of course, my stupid self is trying to run to the ATM when my lift is literally down the street, you know? Like, it's fine. Because if it leaves me, it's fine. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So your girl made it for her nail appointment. Late, late, late. I'm late as shit. But it's not my fault, fuck. Time is never on my side, guaranteed. And I work at five, so that's gonna be real cute. I can't wait to see how this goes. Y'all already know where I'm at, come on, come on. I was about to say, hold on. Yeah, I was there. She was like, you up? I'm like, yeah, the dog's snoring. <laughs> Big line. Yes, yes, yes. Today is my day. I'm on it. Okay, guys, okay, 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 okay. So it's like 4.30, I'm in a rush right now because my fucking job starts at five. I get out at eight, you know that's fine, here the nails, you know, given what it's supposed to be gay. And I love them. And yeah, that's just that. So now I'm on my way to work. I gotta change into my Crocs in the car, well, into my sneakers in the car. So I'm gonna do this little transformation. Yes. How are you? Good, how are you? The transformation in the car and then yeah i love them though head north on south fitzhugh street toward like, troop street yeah exactly given what it's supposed to be gay you know what i'm saying in 500 like, feet turn right onto exchange boulevard we love that period and i only got to do three hours today so that's really good turn I'm right really onto exchange boulevard so i really don't have to work that much i'm just about to change it to my cracks while i'm in the car well I have my Crocs on now. Hold on, because my fingers are still... Continue on Exchange like, Boulevard girl, for a I'll change time. my sneakers, and then I'm going to get back with y'all. Okay. So, y'all. Y'all not... Y'all would not believe what happened to me yesterday. So, hold on. Why I was down there, I was trying to record and everything. I was down there vlogging and whatnot. So I'm just vlogging on my vlog and holding camera and shit like that. Boom. Why the fuck the holder gonna break on me? In the bed. In the bed. Like, I couldn't even, I was gonna be vlogging on new and fire. Had a new technique and a new fire technique to show y'all. Like, I only used it like one time. Wasn't even able to use it for my hair appointment, for my nail appointment, for my nothing. Like, <laughs> so then I'm like, okay, fuck it. Well, because I'm already about to go and grab this ring light from the hair store, so I'm good. So then, y'all, I go to the hair store with Ayana with my 
hairstylist, right? So we cooling, we in there cracking it up, giggling. So I'm in there shopping or whatnot. So I asked the people, I'm like, oh, y'all don't have any more ring lights? She said, no, actually the lady who came in here just a few days ago bought the last one. She spent over $400. I said, well, how big? How big? Like, dang, girl, you got to afford me. She living that rich girl lifestyle for real. Like she was not playing with them girls. So now I'm just no ring light. No holding camera, like nothing to prop my phone on to. Like, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. So now I got to go all the way back to Big Lots. I got to start this thing all the way back over. I'm thinking, I'm not restarting my vlog. No, I'm talking about how I'm going to edit my videos and how I'm going to have my video set up to look. I got to start that all the way back over. So now I'm thinking when I go back to Big Lots, um... My boyfriend is coming with me so he could grab the right one. And I'm going to grab like a vlogging camera and then I'm going to get, I'm going to see if they got like a ring light and big lots. But I'm pretty sure they don't. But I'm going to just check to see and then I'm, I'm just shop on Amazon and look for it. Oh my God. Also, if you're looking for closures or frontals and you're looking for cheap frontals, please go on Amazon. Please go on Amazon. I kid you not. I just got put on about this fucking frontal $30 and hairstylists love it. You know what I'm saying? $30 frontal and hairstylists love it. They recommended they damn so. So I'm going to drop it in the link once I go look for it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I got to get ready for work because I got work. Y'all see the little peekaboo light? <laughs> and I really did blind because my mom always wore blind. You know what I'm saying? And Ayana wanted to try something new. I didn't even know. So I was like, yeah, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Boom. Came out great. I love it. Nails came out great. I love them. Of course, you know, passion nails are always going to snap on the lashes and eyebrows. You already know that. And the next time I get my hair done, it's also going to look good. The next time I get my lashes, everything is going to sound good. I'm thinking I want to go back and get my nails redone next week because these are so cute. But y'all know I love me some long. Y'all know I love me some extra long. These are regular long. Um, I told her, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to have time because I literally work right after this appointment. So if you could just give me regular long one color solid color no diamonds no nothing you know what i'm saying like i needs to be in and out my man she understood exactly what i'm saying what if she had gave me some wine i was on tipsy yesterday it was a nice day i had a really nice time i went home um with my boyfriend i went home with my boyfriend we was um relaxing and chilling with my brothers and my puppy and it was so fun like i really just enjoyed my time everybody was smacked oh my gosh i'm so mad i didn't record a clip with my brother at least because he is a clown for real a clown my boyfriend just texted me so i'm about to close this video out and then i'll see you guys when i see y'all um don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications on because we back to back with them bangers and yeah I hope y'all fuck with me. Like, if y'all don't fuck with me, unsubscribe right now. Like, what are you doing? And if you do, 